if you were to ask the typical person on the street, now I'm not talking about a graphic designer or a photographer, but the typical person on the street, hey, do you know what Photoshop is? Uh, they would say, oh yeah, Photoshop uh, edits photos, everybody knows that. In fact, it's become a verb, hasn't it? Oh, you Photoshopped that. Oh, you shopped that. See, everyone knows that Photoshop is the king of photo editing, but most people don't know, even photographers and graphic designers, that Photoshop wears another hat. Photoshop is also very well dressed. No, 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 no. Oh, he's a groom. Photoshop is married. You may not know that. And you've only been using half of the marriage. Photoshop, in fact, is married to his bride. Oh, isn't she lovely? Bridge. Do you see how Adobe spells bride? They add a G. Bridge is Photoshop's bride. They go together. They always have. He, in fact, um, he's always had her. She began basically like Adam's rib, she began in Photoshop's file menu as something called the file browser. Eventually, she spun off and became her own creation. Bridge is a separate app that is, in fact, married to Photoshop. In fact, you can't buy her. When you download or buy Photoshop, you get Bridge. You just don't know it. You're just not using that awesome, solid marriage of the two. Uh, oh, as in every drama, there's always a little villain. The Bachelor. Hey, get away from her. Get away from her. Lightroom. Lightroom brings drama to Photoshop and Bridges' marriage. In fact, guys, let me just say this. Ladies, you can plug your ears. If you were to get married, gentlemen, and you had an old college buddy who was a lech, you would not invite him to come live with you in your new apartment in the realm of your new marriage. That would be a bad idea. Trust me. Trust me. When you invite the bachelor, things get a little bit uh, awkward. Lightroom creates awkwardness between this concept of what do I use? If I'm using Photoshop, yeah, yeah, aren't we all? We all use Photoshop. But do I use Bridge or do I use Lightroom? That may have been our answer. You could use Bridge. Bridge, you think that BR stands for Bridge. Oh, she's such a, on her own, oh, ha! Uh, On her own, the B and the R is not just bridge. You might call her the boss. And the women are now saying, in every marriage, she may be the boss. But she's the boss of raw. She's the boss of organization as well. She's the boss of management. Much bigger than you would think. Not just of raw files. A lot bigger. She is the phenom of file types. While Lightroom can only recently manage video files in addition to photo files, Bridge, in fact, has no limit. She can manage multiple file types. You never hit a wall or a ceiling with Bridge. She can manage all these file types. But that's not her most important job. Her most important job is she is the queen of the entire Adobe Creative Suite. Every Adobe app, she is the queen of color. If your color is not accurate, it's because you're not using Bridge to manage it. She is, in fact, the bridge between all the Creative Cloud apps. She is the queen mother of all color management in all Adobe apps except one. Can you name it? That's right. Lightroom. Lightroom. He's a rebel.
I don't need my color managed. I manage my own color. In fact, that's the truth. If you're going to do your own, if you're going to do color management at all in Lightroom, you have to do it. Even though you could set it in Bridge, you'll learn and manage it universally across all the Adobe apps, except Lightroom. He's a rebel. You have to manage it separately, manually in Lightroom, and you have to do it in two places. Uh, most Lightroom users I know, if they figured this out at all, they figured out one of the two places, but very, very seldom both places. It's very hard to get accurate color out of Lightroom for that reason. Anyway, Lightroom has been replaced by and ought to be replaced by Bridge. She's the boss. Wow. You already feel smarter. <laughs>